My name is Xavier, and welcome to a four-man, very light troop... No, very light? No, 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 no. Light, moderate tr supply raid or troop column? I forget which one I'm doing. I think it's the supply raid? Yeah, it's the supply raid. I know I said I wasn't going to do another video this week, but uh, I wanted to do another video this week, so I am. <laughs> Basically, that's how that's working. I just really feel like playing right now. So, let's move on up. Oh, there we go. One, two, three, looking like M2, M2, M2. All right. The plan here is, for once in my life, I need to try to keep concealment for more than 0, 0.0 seconds. 0, 0.0 seconds. Whoops, I just ran Razor into the open. Well, <laughs> I guess we'll see if I get to keep concealment for 0, 0. 0.0 seconds, A. Eh? Uh, let's move up here to this rooftop there with Fatterday. Beautiful location for him. Let's move Ian now up. Uh, you know what? Actually, Ian should probably come inside here. That's a great place for him. Maybe even all the way up there. It looks good. And then otherwise, we Overwatch Cheater. And let's see if I immediately lose concealment with Razor. No! That's actually a rainbow. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's Okay. Is that a full on? Okay, I heard a Berserker and a Snake out in the back there. I see six guys here that I know of. Is that a rainbow pot or not? Uh, I really need to know. So, let's see. How can I find this out? Do I bring it? Did I bring any battle scanners? I'm pretty sure I did not. I did, actually. EN has some. Okay. Huh. Well, this would be a great opportunity. Well, you know what? I should probably try to activate the Burnination, if at all possible. So, why don't I grab EN and move up a little bit. We'll scout, and then we can throw out a battle scanner. Okay, so far I see pretty much nothing. All right, let's go a battle scanner. I want to clip these guys a little bit, and I also want to go all the way in the back there and see what's going on. All right, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is a full-on rainbow pod. Beautiful. All right, so that's the command pod right there, even though it's not a technical term for XCOM 2. Regardless, I saw nothing else out in the back. It seems to me like they're mostly prepared to walk away here. I would like them to walk closer. Let's get Alma over there. Great. Uh, let's have a turn here to steady with Fatterday, and let's get Razor actually on the other side of the universe, just scouting out other locations. Over there looks great to me. I want to see what's going on. Oh, we have elevation here. Interesting. I didn't even realize that. Okay, let's Overwatch. And mech in the back left. And these guys aren't even moving. They're not even moving. All right, well... Honestly, what I would like to do here is wait for them to move towards me and catch them in a fighter, because I think that's the best way to activate. But at the same time, I am bored out of my mind. And so instead of doing any of that nonsense, we're going to do this kind of nonsense. <laughs> Oliver, uh, let's go for ye old rockets ahoy. Yes. No more screwed around, friends. I get in, I activate, we go. Just like that. Bam. Selvo in. Eight guys, all wounded, zero dead, zero crowd controlled. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. All right. Who needs to die and how and when and why? I'm thinking the answer here is Fetter Day has the greatest perk of all time, cereal. What can we do with that? We get a 98 there, a 97 here. That's almost two guarantees. Well, then again, he's only got this steady for one shot here, so... Oh my lord. Fetterday could probably almost kill every single thing on the map right now if if uh, if we could hit him, get him to hit every shot. Unfortunately, I don't think he really will hit every shot. We can do some stuff over here to like lightning hands with EN and try to get some of these guys a little bit lower or more easily killed. Uh, let's do that. What's my close best odds here? 60, 38, 29. Interesting. Interesting. I think think, you know what? Before I start doing this, what does Alma have for her second action here? Ooh, we can't quite burn both those guys, but I could hit the Stun Lancer, which is probably a good idea. I also have the ability to command if I really needed to on someone, but who would I command? I don't think anyone, so I'm almost certainly going to burninate this Stun Lancer with her. Uh, I could also just throw out a Concussion Rocket out here and very likely stun, or it, literally I would probably kill two of them, maybe three of them, and then stun the other guys. The officer, I think we're going to leave alone for the most part, then. Maybe I should use another rocket there. And if that's the case, then I kind of want to have Fetterday open up on the shield batter more than anything. What is the shield batter? 97%? Oh, All right. Let's go for it, Faraday. I pop the cereal. Let's go right on down here, friend. 97% with 3% to graze. Even a graze will kill him. And... He's dead. Uh, from Elevation, as they say. For some reason, I felt like I really needed to say Rockets Ahoy. Oh, I forgot that I have to reload, but I do have the um, 
free reload. So we got a 77 out here, a 64 there, a 63 here. These are not the best odds. What's my more most menacing thing? This guy can throw a grenade. This guy can throw, I think, a fire. Is that a fire grenade or is it not? I think it's a fire grenade. Yes, it is a fire grenade. All right, I hate that guy more than anything. So let's do this. Let's go rapid targeting right here with Faraday on the Grenadier. I do not want him to fire Ian and Alma. Uh, now that we've got that up, let's go for a 79 with 19 grays from Elevation of Faraday. Cross map. Bam! Yep, he's down. Alrighty, McFlighty. Now, what do we want to do with our next shots? Heavy Rocketeer, no problem. 64 over here in the Sergeant. Interesting. 59 out there. Alright, so we cannot hit the guy way in the back, but you know who can, though, is EN. He's got a 38%. Oh, hold on. 38, say, he, no, we can hit that guy way back there, I think, with Fatter Day. He just has a much lower odds, right? Yes, 49%. I think we just need to maximize our odds here with Fatter Day. Uh, so let's go for the 77% here in the Heavy Rocketeer. That's almost a guarantee. Or, you know what? Why don't I actually take a little bit of a risk here and go for the 64 with 20. We're looking at 84% uh, to knock down this the Sergeant. That's a little risky. Whew, not that risky, though. Bam, he's down. Now, pop up free reload. And I'm thinking that's a lot of sense. 59 out there are not too much sense. I need to maximize volume here, though. Every shot drops us a little bit more. At least on the crit. Wait, it's only on the crit and the damage, and I don't need to worry about either one of them because I have a million crit, million damage. I thought it dropped aim, but it actually doesn't. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I really feel like... Uh, I need to decide what to do over here. I mean... Uh, I probably want to use aid protocol, possibly airdrop, definitely lightning hands. I think the 60 there makes a lot of sense. But I got a 50 there and another 50 if I go for a shot. I could always pop one with a combat protocol if I really needed to. Hmm, not sure what the best chances are here. 77, 59, I'm 59, 69, 70. Yeah, who cares? Fatter day, go for it. Fourth time's a try, friend. Nice. 59 with 20 grays from Elve Shion. Once again, another guy's down. Beautiful. I've only got two more shots here with Fatter Day at most. I got a 52 there. That's not going to be a kill. I got a 49 there. That's no good. I might want to go for this 55, but that 77 seems like it's like just really, really, really asking to be taken. So, you know what? I'm going to go for it. Uh, I think it's actually a 97 with grays, though. Fatter Day. Beautiful. We got one more shot. We got one more shot here. I either take that 55 or I take that 49. And I'm thinking the answer here is very clear. I'm going to go for, I think, uh, the lightning hands first to see if we can pull it off with EN. We do have the flank. 38 with 12 grays, 50-50 EN. Beautiful. Beautiful EN. Absolutely dootly beautiful. And that solidifies Saturday 55% once again from LFA. She Oh, my God. Freaking... I thought this was going to be more difficult than this. But it's not, is the thing. Okay, I can either hollow target this doofus out in the back there, or I can reload for the next turn. Actually, I think I can do both. I think I can reload and hollow target. And indeed, I can do that. I could reload either hollow target or steady now, depending on what I want to do. Uh, let's see here, though. That officer could move up and throw a grenade. So if I hollow target him, I could move over here with EN and go for a clutch shot, which will get a little bit more damage. Uh, Ulma has no chance to kill him whatsoever. I think the plan here is let's just hunker down, give him no chance to shoot us, uh, and let's come over here with EN, where we're not going to be able to be hit by a grenade, but also not activate anything else on the map. You know what? Just get out of the way, really, with EN. If I could fall back to some place with uh, high cover, that'd be ideal. Right here looks good to me. Fantastic. Now that we're in location here, you know what? Let's just hunker down, and then Fatter Day will go for a steady, and then Razor is going to sit here for a little bit. Alrighty. Alrighty, McFlighty. What are you going to do, officer? Your entire squad has been evaporated. Oh, I heard it. Be berserker again. Uh, officer moves up one tile, and he takes a shot at Ulma. It is not a connection, though. 1%. Wow. Meanwhile, Fatter Day, 79% from elevation. Boom. <sighs> Alright. Oh, really? We grazed him for six. Okay, I didn't anticipate that being what happened, but hey, if that's what he wants to do, then fine, I suppose we'll take it. I can go on a pistol overwatch over here with EN if I really wanted to. I kind of feel like Ulma should move up or something. Uh, or not do anything, honestly. I don't want to be in grenade range for both of them, so one, two, three, four, five. I don't think that'll hit both of them. 
I could move EN up. Oh, nah, I feel like that's just, let's just be smart about it. We'll hunker down, we'll hunker down. Uh, Razor Overwatch, that's it. We'll just, we'll just keep this, uh, we'll keep this going till we, till we succeed. Eventually he's gonna, oh, perfect, there we go. He's gonna give up his high cover. He's got low cover now. 72% with 18 grays, fatter day. Go for it, friend. Go for it, friend. Nice, tag him. Right in the coccyx, friend. Right in the coccyx. He can't get any better than that. Let's move up Peter with Alma and be like, hey, we got a 77 with 14 grays in your face. All right, well. That all happened. Can Razor get over here? No, I should have moved Razor up to get the loot. I didn't realize. I didn't realize, and now there's no chance. So I give up some loot. I can grab that loot right now, though, with Razor, so let's do it. Let's move up here with Ian a little bit for no particularly good reason. We got a data pad. Fantastic. You know what? Let's drop an airdrop here on Alma because Ian's not going to use those grenades, I don't think. And I am going to lose my loot because I wasn't thinking it through. I should have used... Well, whoa, 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 this could... Yeah, of course. Oh, freaking course. Yeah, you, the, the Muton's in the, the, the ground. He's in the ground spotting Razor in a place he cannot physically be. Climbs through the ground, and now Razor's flanked, and I mean, there we go. We lost our concealment. And he's even going to get a shot on Razor while he's flanked. 72%, hit for three. Yep. Uh, that's how it rolls, I suppose. That's how it rolls, I suppose. Now, we need to deal a lot of damage here. Razor's really the only one who can deal a lot. Fetter Day, you got a 66 down there and a 57 over here. Interesting. Uh, I think Alma might be able to burn out that close one, so why don't we go for the far one? You have better odds anyway. 66 for 10 to 15 with 18 grays. Cross map, elevation. Yes, no. Yo, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Muton on the ground. Beautiful. So if Alma's going to do this thing over here, I kind of want to get Razor. He does have the Hunter's Instincts. Freaking Shadow Strike. When am I ever going to get to use that? Where am I? Okay, the other Muton's down here in the corner. I'm pretty sure he's like right there. So if I were to, if I were to come down... Where is he right exactly? I think he's right here. Yeah, I think he's right there. So if I'm right here, we're good. But then I need to make sure I can burn this guy. And actually, I don't necessarily need to make sure of that. Let's just come down here with Razor and see if we activate first and foremost. I doubt we will. Oh, he's on Overwatch. Woo! That was scary, even though I couldn't see a frigging thing. All right, well, Razor, let's go for this then. 82%, 7 to 11 on a Muton Centurion. Really? 82, 82 with 8 grays. That's a 90%. Razor the Grazers. Look at this. No surprise there, but he should be locked down now. Um, I think we're going to have to burn this guy. It might be possible to move over here with EN and kind of flank him and shoot him in the back with a pistol a little bit. But honestly, I don't think we're going to deal a huge amount of damage doing that. 67%, go for it. 4 to 6, EN, bam. Okay, hit for not very much, but maybe enough. I suppose I could put Alma right here to take a punch to the face. It would hurt less. No, actually, I don't want to do that. I don't want to group up. I want to right hit escape so I can stop right clicking, come over here, click on this button, click on that button, click on this button, make sure we're not going to burninate Razor. Is there some way I could burninate this little clown? No, there is a way I could burn Razor, of course, but there's no way that I could burn that guy. All right, well, let's do this then. We'll just burn this one muton, all his tiles, and hopefully, hopefully lock him down with a burning. Nope. Hit for six. Hit for six, no lockdown, friends. He's actually up and at him. And he is flanked, though, so he may move, but his tiles are not on fire. So what's he going to do? He's going to come over here and try to punch Razor, which is very bad, because that means Razor's next move is not going to have a combatives. Unless we can do a super high dodge roll. Of course, Razor hits a 21% crit when we don't need it. Picks up an elite scope and an elite suppressor. That's incredible. Here comes the second one. Razor! Oh! Nice, Razor! Oh, freaking Razor's just the most ridiculous character of all time. 60% to get hit, 27% to get grazed. So that's an 87. He missed a 90% to shoot the guy, and then he, like, rolled at a 13% to completely take no damage on that attack right there. Unridiculously believable, some might say. Uh, okay, Faraday, pop a reload here. 8, 9, 10, 11 things out of 16 to 18, and I heard a Berserker in the background, which means there's probably 4 there, which brings us up to 15, and then there's probably another pot of 3 someplace. Alright, all these things being said, I want to grab that loot, but Razor's the only one who can do it, I feel. I don't want to grab it too much. Um, I don't really want to use any cooldowns on this guy whatsoever, so 
My thinking here is this, right? Let's move over here, like, a tile away from this guy. I can't get any uh, cover, unfortunately. I would take it otherwise, but I can't do it. So let's go right here a tile away. So the Muton, worst case, worst case is going to do the combatives roll over and over and over again. When Eon's down, or Eon's down here, we can go for a lightning hand pistol right to his... How the hell is he getting high cover? Oh. Ah, okay, I screwed that up pretty badly. Well, let's not uh, worry about that loot then. Let's just take Razor Heater and go for an 82% with eight grays. Go for it, Razor. Nice, you hit this time, or did you? I hit for seven, I suppose. That's more than zero. I could run over here with Alma and go for a flank, but then we're literally all standing in the open. Would the would the Muton's ability to grenade override its ability to melee? Like, would it prioritize that? Even if it could, it would throw a grenade on itself right here in the process. It could also throw a grenade over there and hit only the two of us. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I feel like Ian could kill this, though, next turn. Ah, who cares? Let's just come down here with Alma, stand out in the open like we always do, and be like, Hey, Dufon, 92% with 8 grades with a laser gun, of all stupid things. You know what? I really probably should have used Fatter Day. Eh, nah. I think where he is, he's fine. Let's just go for another steady weapon here. How is he down one, one action point, though? I didn't do anything with him this turn, I don't think. Did I reload? I must have. I must have. Let's go over here for a pistol overwatch. This is the best. Oh, I just fired pistol by mistake. I meant to hit the pistol overwatch button. Too many fires and overwatch button. Oh! And here it comes. Whoa! Here it comes a full on four mech pod with two M1 mechs and two M2 mechs. Okay, the Muton is going for the melee on Razor. Luckily, we have the combatives. Nice, Razor. Shut him down. But are these guys going to get actions against us? Because we are standing in the open. Answer yes. 73 with 18 oh, grays on all of us. Speaking of this, because we're so skilled. That's skill right there. That's skill, guys. What you just saw is skill. Now, we need to wreck these guys. And they have an Overwatch. And I don't like me no all Overwatch. Right. Pop a reload here on Razor. EN kind of kind of legitimately has to break this overwatch, but he can't. I could hack probably that robot and take control of it, no problem. What I want to do, though, is move into a place where I can see that robot. Lightning hands this mech. Don't want to pull the overwatch if possible. Could I come over here and then jump through this gate? Can I come over here and go through the gate? Yes. But then I over here, yes. I would see that one. I could lightning hands it, but then not not go for the control on the other stuff. Hmm. If I came over here, though, I could do it. Ah, and I could even not pull the overwatch. No, I couldn't do it there. Okay. Huh. This is some weird stuff. Why can't I, why can't I find a tile where I can see both these mechs? You know why? It's because all this stuff is in the way. That's why. Uh, what we're going to have to do here is play it really, 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 really intelligently. Uh, and the way to do that, I believe, is the following. Let's stand in the open and just blow everything up. Because that's the intelligent move, always. Always, friends, always. What's our chance with EN before I do this, though, to shut down a super heavy mech? Ooh, you know what, actually? 87% to shut down. Huh. Huh. Okay, I could me. I'm one tile off here. I'd have to go back a couple tiles. Think, 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 think. Yes, I can do this. I think. Okay, it's starting to look good. I'm getting a sense of what I need to do for it. I can hit these two, or those two, or potentially all three of these guys. Potentially all three of them. And I feel like that's the best bet. Let's go for this. Alma, 0.68 tiles. Rockets ahoy, friend. Standing in the open. Okay, we missed the guy on the right, but we hit for six, hit for four. Shred, Overwatch is no more. That's at least something. That's at least something. So here's what I want to do. I want to make sure that I can shred storm all of these guys. And then I want to be in a position perfect right there. Right here, no. Okay, let me, let me, this is gonna take a little bit of finagling. I don't know if I'm gonna edit this out or, out or not, though. Okay, we can only hit that guy right there, interestingly enough. Or to this guy here. So, you know what I'm gonna have to do, I believe? Okay, let's, uh, let's come back up here to Fatterday really quick. He's got a shot on all four of these guys. Great, 100% all arounds. We have a hollow target. I should have used the hollow target before, but thinking about it now. Thinking about it now, how can I do this? Faraday, I think, needs to kill, move up, 
Shredstorm. Okay, pistol this one. Or Shredstorm, pistol that one. Faraday kills that one. This thing we shut down with a command, and that one we kill with Razor. Okay, so for that to be the case, then I need to be in a position where I can see the one in the back left, which looks like I can do that here, I can do it here, I can do it here. I can only move here to shoot all these guys. Once again, I got to make sure I do this exactly right. So if I'm here, I think I can do all three of these ones in the front of me. Pistol the one on the back. Yeah, looking good. All right, two tiles over. Ian, go for it, friend. Now that you're standing in the open, as is always our strat, let's go for a lightning hands over here, 37%. Nope, that's not going to work for me. Let's come back up here. Fetter day, a pump up a rapid targeting on that there mech in the back. Beautiful. Uh, I'm actually kind of curious here. You got 100%. Before I even do this, let's just see if you can max roll this thing into the ground. Faraday, cross map. Elevation. Okay, yes, apparently he could. So I didn't even need to worry about that. Wow. All right, well, let's do this then. Let's grab Ian. Go for the lightning hands here. 54 48. I think I'm going to go for the 48 so I can try to get the kill. Uh, then again, I'm probably going to use the command to go for the shutdown on the big mech, which means I can probably, if I wanted to, use the lightning hands next turn and shred them right now to do more damage. So if I'm going to shred them right now to do more damage, let's go find where the last one is just to be sure that I know. Uh, then again, if I do this the wrong way, we're going to activate, so I need to make sure I don't do it the wrong way. If I move here with Razor, can I then move here only on a dash? Yes. All right, well, here's how I can figure it out. I know the mech was out here someplace. Never mind. Who cares? Let's just do this instead. Let's do the shredder. We'll, we'll aim it as much left as possible because I know the mech is out there. Go forward, Ian. Shred all this stuff into the ground. Beautiful. Killed the mech in the back left. Killed the loot. Shred, shred. Now we're talking. Ulma, pop the command up here on Ian. Pop the command up here on EN. Now, EN, pop a lightning hands back here on that advent mech that is now shredded at 48%. Looks good to me. Boom. All right, looks like we missed there. Actually, no, we hit for three. That's something. Let's go for the haywire protocol now on this heavy mech. And 78. Bloody hell, we actually low rolled that. But fear not, friends, fear not. When have I ever failed a hacky mech hackasaurus? Not today. Not today. Beautiful. That's taken care of, and now I just have Razor to deal with the other guy in the back. I can also go grab that loot if I want to, but I know the Berserker's over there, so I risk a little bit of, uh, a little bit... Oh, that Berserker sounds really close. I so want to come over here, but if I did that, I couldn't go for the slice. What are my shot odds? Not nearly enough. All right, well, let's just, uh, let's just double down on this then. Forget the loot. 83% with 17 grays. Razor the Grazer, even a graze, he's down. He is a down. All right. Hit for 11. That was totally necessary. <laughs> and just please no berserker. Oh, I hate that I had to give up the loot, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Everything is fine and dandy. We do have to kill this mech like right now. Actually, that's not true. We have Trojan. We, we actually have Trojan. Um, let me think here for a second. Since I have Trojan, I have the time. Let's go for Fatter Day on a hollow target here to get more damage on it all around. Then I'm going to go for a Steady, I think, on his second action to be prepared for next turn that the Berserker strolls in. Meanwhile, Razor, move on up next to this mech so we can get close to slice it if we want to for next turn. Don't need to do it right now. Right now we can either hit shoot for 6 to 10 or I can slice 4, 5 to 9. I suppose the obvious answer there is shoot 6 to 10, go for it. Okay, he's hit for a bunch. The the um, whatever ability should indeed kill him, but just in case, let's move over here with En a little bit. Looks fantastic, and let's go for a fighter, a pistol, ninety nine for five to seven. Wow! You can't handle me. God, that hit really hard, huh? And let's move Alma up to this tree. We will hang out uh, and probably just to hunker down because she's the one who's going to get spotted here. Trojan apparently went off for no good reason. Where's me, that berserker? I hear him dancing. I hear him dancing. Let's let's check all our things here. Uh, Fetter Day's got to reload. Let's pop it. Let's go for the steady. We got cereal back up. Alma can just hunker. Perfect safety there. Ian, you don't need to do nothing. We could probably move you over here if he wanted to to get better line of sight. But otherwise, quite frankly, just hunker. And Razor, let's move you up a little bit to get you closer for more slices or whatever. But you don't really need to be anywhere or do anything overwatch. All right. Now, I do have another... Uh, 
Another battle scanner here. What does Ulma have for the thingies? None. She's got no battle scanner. Ian, move up to this corner. See if we activate. We do not. You know what? Let's just do this one more turn. Let's hunker. And hunker. And steady. And hunker. If they don't show up, we'll throw the battle scanner. That's the first action. Okay, I can hear him out there someplace dancing. This isn't really going to help me too much. There we go. Found him. We got Berserker, Snake, Snake. And those are regular snakes. 14, 14, and 32. Where can I hit these things? Fetterday? Any chance? No. Not from where you are. Not in the slightest. Any place you could get actually over here maybe, but then I wouldn't see him. So I think the plan is, quite frankly, we just stay where we are on a steady, and then we just hunker here on everyone and wait. Let's just watch what they do. Come closer, guys. Come. Cl They're not even on alert. No way. Okay, well, now I know where they're going. They're not going to get... Only the snakes will get reaction shots. Huh. Interesting. I don't want to have... Let's move Alma up a little bit. I want to get Razor up a little bit as well. We can hide him up here in this cubby. We won't activate doing this. They won't see him. That's all good to me. Uh, Ian, maybe even go for like a wide kind of weird thing where you run over here or you know what just stay where you are it's fine let's go and hunker uh alma hunker and same deal back here fetter day steady god oh now they're all the way back there and oh right this bug where i have vision on them permanently for whatever reason maybe i should move fetter day up over here well no because i could move them over here maybe you know what? I got all the time in the world and they're not on alert, so let's do it. Fetter Day, move over there. Wonderful. The rest of you guys, just go on hunker a thon. And they're actually leaving. Wow, okay. Let's see if I can get, like, up here in this building soon. Oh, now they're closer. Okay. Well, I definitely want to get on some elevation, so let's come back there. It'll have to do for now. We'll toss up a steady here, and then let's do the old hunker a -roo. Nothing. I would prefer, instead of being all the way back there, to be all the way up here, but I want to do it one, one step at a time so I can steady every time just in case. And then we'll just do one more round of hunkers, and then I'll get in there. Okay, we got nothing. Um, probably makes some sense to move up here with Fetter Day. Hunker. Let's grab EN and do an airdrop here on Ulma. Hunker. 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 All right. Well, we got to activate somehow, right? Uh, let's say Razor has the least a good action economy, so why don't we bring him out here? Felt very laggy, so yes, there we go. <laughs> I got the berserkers like, uh, uh, what? what? Huh? All right, he's moving on up. These snakes are so far away, they're kind of irrelevant. Let's see what we have for shots here. Ooh, we got one shot with Fetter Day all the way across the universe on a stake. So you know what? Let's just take it. We'll toss up our rapid targeting right now. Looks good, and let's just lob a shot. 81%, literally cross map. 11 to 16, through high cover, who cares? Here goes a snake, Fatter Day, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Let's grab Fatter Day now, and you know what? Oh, wait. Oh, he doesn't have Death Room above. I was assuming he just had one action, but I'm so used to having that perk. That's interesting. Uh, can we do something with Ulma? Like, can I throw a grenade? No. Let's shoot a concussive rocket to buy some time, maybe stun him a little bit? Sure. I don't see why not. 0. 0.74 tile scatter. Go for it, Oma. Rockets ahoy. Beautiful. Beautiful. We disoriented and stunned them. This gets us all the time in the universe to do really whatever it is we want to do. Razor, if I wanted to, I can't see what's going on here. Could I move up to a place I could slice this guy and to get cover? I believe so if I had a little bit more movement, which I kind of... Even with an Oscar mic, I don't think I could pull that off. So... That doesn't seem very useful. Let's toss up a aid protocol, though, over here on Razor. Oh, he has threat assessment, too. That's pretty good. I think I'm just going to have to move up here like a madman. And then Razor... Uh 
Do you have a med kit? No, you do. So you're immune to the poison. That's good. Let's move up here, maybe, so that everyone's spread out. No poison anywhere. That looks uh, ideal to me. And then otherwise, Ian, there's not a lot we can do with you, I don't think. Maybe I could move you up here. Now, I need to move you someplace, so at least next turn I can use your uh, lightning hands. So there we go. So the snake has a disoriented move in the smoke, and that's about it. What's the snake going to do with this disoriented move? He's going to make a run for it. We get the threat assessment on Razor. No surprise there. 1% with 16 grays. No connection on. The thing's on Overwatch now. Fetter Day has no shots, unfortunately. But we have this thing I like to call 0% lightning hands, which is completely useless to us. Uh, however, I could, if I wanted to, clutch shot that doofus for 4 to 6. Not necessarily a bad idea. I think I will indeed. Or Alma could maybe salvo with a grenade. Aid. It's a grenade. There we go. Salvo grenade. Oh my lord. What? 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 Uh, for six and seven, apparently, Alma just hit. That seems legit. Sure. Why not six and seven? I mean, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't have hit for that. Let's grab Razor, pop a reload here. We can move up next to this snake. Oh, I can move up next to the Berserker, get in position for the combatives. Uh, simultaneously, maybe we can shoot down the snake. 69, 41. What are my slice odds here? 66. I'd prefer to take down the snake. You know what? I think I can kill the snake actually with EN. Uh, we got a 0% there, but who cares when I can just do a clutch shot? Yes, that'll, that'll indeed almost certainly work. 66% chance to work. Bam, the snake's down. Alma still sitting over here, just bored out of her mind with a billion and a half abilities she's not even using. Can I actually burn? No, no chance of that. With Inferno, it would work for sure. But otherwise, we're looking at no chance of that. Here's my plan, right? Let's not get that Berserker more than he needs. Let's just run away. We'll run away there. Fetterday will run you up here so you have line of sight for next turn. But otherwise, we're pretty much done. And Razor, you know what? That's just 76%. 8 to 12 flesh. Flesh in the smoke, friend. Bam. Hit for 11. Beautiful. Any more stun? Nope. Berserker's going to get up here and be like, I am Berserker. And Razor's going to be like, hey, friends, did you forget that I've Razor the Grazer in a cloud of smoke? I don't care. None about your Berserker. There we go. And nope. Now he's really mad. He's really mad. Razor, would you care? Would you care, friend, to learn him a lesson? Why bother doing that when I can instead do this? Hollow target over there are wonderful. Pew. Uh, let's come back over here for Razor, and 92% with 8 grays, a boom, he's gone. Well, friends, well, friends, four-person light moderate mission. Flawless victory! Even lost concealment on a flank shot, for God's sake. The game is easy! The game is so easy. It's just so easy. Key All-Star MVP player. This is actually a really tough one. So, Fatter Day... One one, we're evening up the score, Commander. Good work out there. Fatter Day completely obliterated that command pod at the beginning. Just wiped the whole thing off the map with Serial. Then, he also took down the officer safety, safely. Then he took down that heavy mech by just high-rolling it, meaning that EN was free to deal with the other mechs. Uh, and I think that's really all Fatterday did. The things at the end, and oh, I guess he did. He also killed the snake from across the universe with a one shot. Very, 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 very solid performance. Meanwhile, Oma salvoed like what three times this time around? Uh, once with the rocket? No, four times. One, yeah, twice with the regular rockets. Like the first one on the command pod was insane. It, it didn't kill anyone, which is great because we got all the loot, all the corpses, but it freed us up to get all the kills on Fatterday with the perfect serial. Uh, the next rocket was on all of the mechs, shredding a bunch of their armor, dealing enough damage, getting them low enough to EN to kill all that stuff with his shredder slash shutdown combo. And Ulma used the salvo to then command EN on top of that. And then the concussion really didn't even need it, but it just kind of guaranteed that they didn't really have any chance to ruin our flawless victory. Plus she threw a grenade, which was hilarious on the snake to break the overwatch with a salvo for no reason. So that was a super strong performance. EN as well, uh, clutch shotting that guy in the beginning for like, for, not clutch shotting, but lightning handsing the sentry in the beginning for 49%, assuring we didn't have any like oopsie doopsies going on, and then just handling. 
And I mean handling that mech pod like a frigging boss. That was insanity. He walked up like pistoled one of them, uh, shredded all the rest of them, got them low enough for everyone to kill them all, and then shut down the last one. That pod of mechs is normally a really big issue, but it was a joke. Single, I mean, just single-handed. Well, I guess not single-handedly because Ulma had to use the command, but still, Ian just handled the whole situation. And Razor, always providing the entertainment with the 90% misses and then like the 2% crits. Uh, it's just a fun time. Plus he locked down the Berserker, guarantee plus he lost concealment, which is always very fun for no particularly good reason. Get shot in the back just for like dramatic flair. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I don't know who to give the key all-star MVP player to. Uh, Faraday's serial chain was all pretty decently high shots though, so probably not him. I think either Ian or Olma. Ian so readily gets it, maybe Ian. But Olma kind of also deserves it. But, I don't know. Who knows? The comment section can decide, I suppose. Whoa, we got a data pad? I don't remember getting that, but hey, I'll take it. Also, Elite Suppressor, insane. Elite Scope, insane. We got a Shield Better. Five, did I even kill anything? Yeah, I think I did kill one mech, right? So how many mechs were there total? Four, yeah, we killed one mech corpse. But otherwise, we got every single corpse on that entire mission, I believe. One Berserker, two Vipers. That's a very, very profitable mission. Five Troopers, Stun Lancer, Officer. Amazing. Two Vipers, um, 20 Alloys, which is incredible. 15 Illyrium, another Illyrium Core on top, and 103 Supplies. That can't be any better. That is actually incredibly awesome. All right, then. What was I doing out here? It looks to me like... I think I'm just scanning to the next mission, right? This is a four-day mission we weren't going to do. Uh, this was a two-day mission we weren't going to do. That's a mission we're not going to do, and none of this is missions we're going to do. So Mexico's at strength four. I'd like to scan there to get like a uh, jailbreak or something at some point, but I don't care right now. What's this mission over here we're not doing? Oh, right, that's the smash and grab I canceled. So next up, it looks like we've got a troop column in one day, two hours, or this neutralized target in one day, 20 hours. So let's just keep scanning. There's my red screen rounds. They're beautiful. Let's zoom in and proving around to choose project. What do we want to do now? Blue screen rounds are actually a lot of fun, but they're five Illyrium crystals, which is kind of not great. Acid grenades are always good, but they're an Archon. Gas grenades are not that useful, I don't think, for this late in the camp. I think they're pretty good early on, if you rush them, but I didn't rush them, so... Don't care about stocks or laser sights. Uh, I may go for blue screen, even though they're five Illyrium, or I might just do nothing, because we seem to be ahead of the curve here, or maybe a Skulljack so I have it done, and when I need to do it eventually anyway, so sure. Let's toss that in, and let's get on out of here. Keep on scanning. Oh, we got 20. Oh! Zero days, 22 hours, data tap. Really? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, really? I say in my super manly voice. That was a very manly voice. How the hell is there a data tap in a region with only three rebels? That seems almost, like, impossible. The odds of that happening are extremely low. Extremely low. And then you guess, Deidre's a wounded for like a hundred years and we can't go make this a really awesome troop training operation, right? All right, uh, yep, she's wounded for 16 days. Bloody hell, guys. I just wanted to do, I just wanted to do troop training. We got one day, two hours over there. We got one day, two hours up there. Whoopsie daisy. And down here we got 22 hours for this data tap. It's light. That's actually a very substantial force. 15, huh, for how small it is. Well. Um, let's take a look. Anyone coming out of the infirmary or whatever in one day? Nope. And no, indeed. Nobody's coming out of there. Well, too bad we missed out on another troop training operation. Unfortunately, I can't finish. That's like another 24 hours till we finish this as well. So, yeah. I don't think it makes any sense to keep an engineer down here when I have nobody on supplies. Let's kick them out. And let's toss in... I'm actually not sure who to toss in. This tr this this should, shouldn't be that bad. I guess I gotta gear the mission up, and then we'll throw someone on someone in over here. I, or I can just throw in someone. I want to do the highest rank possible. I'm not sure. So I know the higher ranks detect rendezvous is higher, but I don't think they actually help recruiting any faster. So I think Hexagon by himself can recruit people here just as fast as a master sergeant. I could be wrong on that, but I don't think I am. I don't think I am. So we'll leave him there, and that'll do it. 
All right, when's we returning? Apparently a light data tap in New Mexico. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of training here. And we'll also bring a half decent squad. Ooh, Johnny Five, Razor, yes, this will be awesome fun. Josh Ross, we need to train all our tech sergeants up. Maybe even a gunnery sergeant here with EN, because why not, right? Why not? Look at this squad, this is insane. It's like almost too good. Oh, I wanna bring Robbie D, I think, along for this one. Yes, that's gonna be awesome. We should be able to steamroll these clowns. Absolutely steamroll them. Do I have a battle scanner? I do, uh, on EN, so I, between that and Razor having concealment, we should be good. All right, when's we returning? A data tap. Uh, until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Let's go for ye old rockets ahoy. Yes. No more screwing around, friends. I get in, I activate, we go. Just like that. Bam. Selvo in. Eight guys, all wounded, zero dead, zero crowd control. Now we're talking. Now we are talking.